10 more rounds. We're sticking with, <sighs> we're sticking with our toga today. The toga being one of, one side is over the shoulder and the other one is going around in a diagonal. And I was just wondering what it would be like to spread some of the fabric out when we got in and what that would look like. So I'm just gonna play with it. It's, uh, it's still an unknown. <laughs> But it just seemed like the next logical step, right? Like, what if I spread out the swing a little more? And I can spread out the leg loops. And I can actually have one bunch and one spread out. Let me see what that's like. Get my hair out of the way. But yeah, so if somebody finds that to be like way too intense for their blood, like, what is it like to just have? Yeah, that's actually really nice in terms of a more gentle experience and really coddling. That's what I love about the swing is it just feels like it coddles the body in such a sweet way. So I just have one leg loop out of the two. So let me see what happens when I have both leg loops spread out then. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really nice. And then I don't even really, so when you said you were having trouble getting it to go down on a diagonal, not a problem now. Hold on to the handhold, which feels like it wants me to hold on to it. I can practice doing, we'll just say the opposite leg, opposite side. Mm. Yeah, so especially after a really deep dynamic experience like we just had, it's super nice to bring it down like a cool down lap with everything spread out. Now this is pulling away more. And I can even shift here and be like, okay, for the pull away, let me bunch it up. And that still is more spread out than it was before. So it's not as much neck where I can decide to go into the, some of the neck stuff, right? But with it spread out over the neck and working the fascia feels so different. Back over. I'll have to come up with like those 70 shirts that were just on one side. I'll have to come up with like a name for that. And I like this is automatically encouraging me to press my hands behind my back. And then this leg can actually find the purple. Like you were doing. And hooking. And I have this spread out so supporting my body weight. It could be bunched up as well. I could just try spreading out one at a time. But this is nice because it's a, a gentle tractioning and I can control it a little bit more. I can slide it up and down. Not digging in so much. And I also like wringing out the legs as well as the shoulder and letting the swing dig in as I'm doing my twist. It's kind of like feeling like an amoeba, you know, like getting in and just letting the body parts push and pull in the fabric. This is so cool. I like that. This could even turn into a cocoon on the on the lower half, right? A complete burrito. And then it just feels like time to switch sides. I'm gonna try just the one leg loop. So I only have one spread out, the other one's bunched. My arm can be up, I can hang down. Go back to this one. I get them both spread out. Head on the shoulder. twist. This is actually really comfortable instead of the same leg as the diagonal. Punch it up for a deeper experience. Roll around and then switch. Spread it out again. 
into the neck. up on one side and spread out on the other side too. I like this clasping my hands. It's encouraging my arms behind my back. That just feels really nice. So before, in case people are like, what, what is going on? <laughs> before we had this one hooked and then this one came over. So with the leg hooked on the swing, it was a much different twist. And I'm not straightening this leg just because of the carabiners. Oh no, I can. The carabiners were kind of digging in because the yellow one's shorter. Mm. So it can be bent knee but it feels like I have an assistant pulling my arm back because of the diagonal and the and the tractioning away from my neck so my shoulders actually getting that release it's amazing and it can always come into plow back around and as I come down maybe I just get in <laughs> Right? You're like, all right, thank you. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Paperita is always nice too. Ah, this is lovely. After wringing everything out, taking this final pause is so delicious and everything supported. We could stay here for five, 10 minutes if we were on our own, but I want Lori to check it out and try spreading things out and seeing how that feels. Sliding out nice and slow. <laughs> and you can do a back walk over there too. I was I, yeah. Yeah, I was gone and then I'm like, ah, keep it, keep it chill. Decide how much you want to spread things out. You can always try bunching them up, spreading them out, switching them up. something really intense and give some people, even ourselves, some mm. softer options. kind of don't know what I'm doing, but... <laughs> You're doing it. <laughs> so that's cool because you have this one spread out and this one bunched up, so it's still pretty intense, wouldn't you say? Oh, uh, yes. Well, not as bad, but you could tear. You could also spread this one out too. There we go. Mm -hmm. Lift up. Like I was trying. 
for everybody? Okay, that's good too. <laughs> now you have just one. Let's see, let's double them up. Now it's really pulling the shoulder kind of like like a back pose. And then we put it over our shoulders again. Yeah, and see how that hand holds is just there if you want it. It's just nice holding on to the fabric. Mm -hmm. It might be a cool down lap. It doesn't need to be so intense after all that ringing out. Yeah, I did have one foot hook, but that, that looks good too. Yeah, see how that, that lifts? Mm. So I'm wondering why, yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's like the palms facing each other would be a little better. Yeah, because that one shoulder is getting pulled underneath. Wouldn't it be nice to have that ability, you know? Sometimes clasping my hands behind my back can be challenging some poses and that makes it real easy. Well and I used to do that like all the time and now it just doesn't do the same thing. Yeah. Exactly. My body used to do it all the time too. <laughs> Will you try one thing for me? Because I, I have a curiosity. Um no you were good. Both over the curiosity. I have a curiosity, particularities. And then get your elbow get your arms out and then clasp your hands. No no yeah, and clasp your hands behind your back again, like lift up. Does that feel like an assist with the fabric pulling together? Uh, it's hard to kind of put my neck in this. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So it's like helping to squeeze, right? Yeah. Okay. Especially, it sounds like I can't get the squeeze. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, get it down further up. Yeah, up or down. There you go. Just in. <laughs> down, in, over. And the, all the other neck work is so good. My neck is like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to get to integrate yeah. before you do any more. So, <laughs> it isn't perfect. I love cocooning at the end. Do you want to see if the legs want to go up and be burrito? Yeah. My favorite. Isn't it so nice on the table too? All these versions of yeah. Oh man. Get your kidneys again. Does that feel comfortable? Yeah, I like the arms just, yeah, exactly, just dangling out in the back as well. Tucking you in. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that was so perfect. How Lori, was talking to the video for a second, Lori, noticed her neck was done <laughs> and it just wanted to integrate and that was perfect. So I like to come in like we've learned in our cocoon and just do some real gentle um, body wash. Just fingertips tracing the circles around the shoulders up through the neck. <laughs> 